Dr. Diane. It is Read Across America Day today, and I thought I would share a story with you. This is Cece Loves Science. It's an I Can Read book. It's all about push and pull. It's by Kimberly Durding and Sheila Johannes, and it's based on the illustrations by Vashti Harrison. So let's find out how push and pull impacts Cece's life. Cece and her friend Isaac walked to school. Cece pulled her dog Einstein in a wagon. Isaac kicked his soccer ball. Today was a special day. Ms. Curry met them by the flagpole. Is Einstein ready for science class, Ms. Curry asked. Einstein hopped out of the wagon and barked. Woof! Einstein is excited, said Cece. Cece was excited too. Cece loved science. She could not wait to get started on a new experiment. Today, we will learn about push and pull, said Miss Curry. There are forces that move objects in different ways. Can anybody think of an example? Cece raised her hand. It's like when I pull Einstein in my wagon, she said. Isaac raised his hand. And when I kick my soccer ball, he said. Exactly, said Miss Curry. Now, let's do our lab and see how these forces work. Can you think of different forces that you use? Ways that you push or pull something? Your mission is to make a treat dispenser for our special guest Einstein, said Miss Curry. Woof, barked Einstein. So we've got team one and we've got team two. Cece, Isaac, Sam, and Emily were on team one. Daisy, Carolyn, J Jacob, and Zara were on team two wonder how they're going to use push and pull to make a treat dispenser for Einstein. What would you do? Ms. Curry gave each team the same materials. You need to use all of these items to solve the problem, she said. Each team had scissors, a ruler, tape, a pencil, a cardboard box, cardboard tubes, and a paper cup. They also had a toy dump truck, a marble, string, dominoes, and some doggy treats. Cece, Isaac, Sam, and Emily studied the materials. What should we do first, said Isaac. I know, said Cece, we can build a ramp for the truck. You can see there's the idea for doing a ramp for the truck. Yes, said Emily, and the truck can haul the marble up the ramp. Ooh, this is gonna be fun, said Sam. Woof, barked Einstein. Sam measured the cardboard box. He cut it into three flat pieces, one rectangle and two triangles. Emily taped the pieces together, so you've got your rectangle and your triangles. Cece put the marble on the truck and she pushed the truck up the ramp. Can you guys push? Push the truck up the ramp. When you push something, you're applying force to it, Ms. Curry said. In this experiment, your push is the force moving the truck up the ramp. Einstein put his paws on the counter. He pushed the hamster cage with his nose. The hamster jumped off his wheel, landed on his ball, and rolled. His food bowl tipped over. Splat. Is that the kind of push we want to use? Maybe not. Einstein wagged his tail. Cece pulled him away from the counter. Einstein, Gus doesn't want to play with you, she said. What's next, asked Emily. We can build a tunnel for the marble, said Cece. Emily and Sam taped the tubes together to make a tunnel. Cece flicked the marble out of the truck. It rolled down the ramp and into the tunnel. The team watched the marble roll out the other side. Excellent, Miss Curry said. Einstein jumped up and put his paws on the counter again. He pressed his nose against the fish tank. The tank slid across the counter. Water sloshed out. Splash! Einstein, said Cece. Sit! Maybe we can put a treat in the cup, said Emily. So when we push the cup over, the treat falls out, said Isaac. That will make him happy, said Sam. How do we use the dominoes, asked Emily. I think the marble will push over the dominoes, said Cece, if it rolls fast enough. 
and the dominoes will push over the cup, said Sam. The team lined everything up. Let's try it, said Cece. Wolf, barked Einstein. Emily rolled the marble into the first domino. The first domino hit the second domino and pushed it over. The second domino pushed the third domino over. And the last domino toppled over and hit the cup and the cup tipped over. The treat fell and Einstein gobbled it up. It worked, Isaac said. Oh no, said Cece. What, asked Emily. We forgot to use the string, Cece said. Sam shrugged. Any ideas, he said. Cece picked up the piece of string. I wonder if it's strong enough to pull the truck, she said. Can you give me a good pull? Pull. Let's test it, said Emily. She grabbed the other end of the string and pulled. All right, you're gonna pull? You take your end of the string, pull. Oh my gosh, you almost pulled me into the camera. Cece fell on the floor. Einstein licked her face. Cece giggled. I guess pulling can be a super strong force. Her team laughed. We can tie the string to the truck, said Emily, and pull the truck up the ramp. The team set up the experiment again. Cece pulled the truck up the ramp. Sam pushed the marble out of the truck. The marble rolled through the tunnel. It pushed over the first domino. The last domino pushed over the cup. The treat flew out of the cup and... This time, Einstein caught the treat and gobbled it up. We did it, said Cece. Good job, everyone, said Ms. Curry when both teams had presented their push and pull treat dispensers. Woof, barked Einstein. I guess Einstein loves science too, said Isaac. And treat, said Cece, hugging Einstein. Cece loved science, but she loved Einstein most of all. And then they give some different ideas for things that you can do with push and pull. So the first one is bowling. Line up some empty water plastic bottles or soda bottles. Roll a ball across the floor and try to hit a bottle. What happens if you roll the ball faster? What happens if you build a ramp for the ball? What happens if you fill the bottles with water? Why? You can also play with pull. Tug of war, pull. Find a thick rope or roll up a piece of fabric such as a bed sheet. Tie a ribbon in the middle and mark the center spot on the ground. Have one person grab each end. See who can pull the ribbon over to their side. What happens if you add people to one side, to both sides? What happens if you all sit down while pulling? Why? And then they include a glossary. A glossary is a dictionary in the back that tells you what words mean. So we've got force. Force is the push or pull of an object. A force can cause an object to move faster, slow down, remain in place, or change shape. Push is a force that moves something away from you. Pull is a thing that moves something towards you, a force. And motion is the change of position of an object because of a force. So now that you've read Cece Loves Science, can you take the materials in the book and build your own dog treat dispenser? Share them with me in the comments. Thanks a lot and happy Read Across America Day. Happy Read Across America Day. Today, we are going to build our very own dog treat dispenser just like they do in CC Love Science Push and Pull. down the treats so that Lucky and Cosette got their treats. I would love to see what you guys do today and happy Read Across America Day.